Dang, I can't believe they're actually really gone. Yeah, it's hard to believe that something so beloved could just vanish. What the, what the fuck? fuck? Hey, what's up guys? Dan Rose here, back at it again with another video. It's been mad long, and since uh, we had that Nintendo, that sweet, sweet Nintendo Direct, I had to do another video, and I'm joined by the best one and only Void Gear. So today we're going to be talking about Hi. me content. There's a lot of stuff to talk about right now, but we're going to focus on the me's and them coming back in two games. We have the Miitopia DX, if you want to call it that, Miitopia, sequel, Miitopia, remake, remaster, it doesn't matter, Miitopia is back. And then we also have um, Mario Golf. So, <clears throat> Mario Golf. How do you feel about that one? How you feel about me Let's coming back? Before we get into the topics. Oh, I... How do I feel about me's coming back? I'm hyped because I love the Mii's. They're like the greatest thing they had like ever been made by Nintendo. I agree because I've been waiting for me content for far before. too goddamn long. And we're gonna go into our first topic of new features that we've heard about. And some we're gonna go over right now. So they've added uh, new like wigs apparently. So basically kind of new hairstyles that they had in game that you could like access for your characters. They also have, um, we don't know if they have new jobs, but we know they have a horse in the game that you can use. And I've seen like pictures that you can use in the fight too as well when you're on missions. That is also unique and cool. Um, am I missing anything else, Void? Um, okay, besides yep, that, the that gradients is, on the wigs, that is not also really. The, uh, oh, the and HD graphics. For the <laughs> hairstyles, so now you can have like pigments in the hair. Um, you can you can have like a hair go from green to blue, and now you can go from anime. green to blue and have the fade in between that. So. That, I feel like Mii's needed regardless. Um, that should have been a thing in Mii Maker regardless. And we got colors finally, but we didn't get something like that. And they added like new eyebrows and all those things that we will want for an update for the Mii's, which should be in just the Mii Maker in general. So hopefully they make an update to that. But how do you feel about all the things that they're adding? Uh, I think it's, I personally think it's really good because like it helps differentiate it from it just being a port. And honestly, it adds a lot more depth to the game, to an already pretty, like, impactful game. So, I say, it's pretty good. It gets an A plus from me. <laughs> and now, and it, it, I feel like everything is actually, I wouldn't say it's like, oh, it's too much for people to handle. For new people, for new people coming in the game, I think they should be fine with new content. Because if they didn't play this and they play it now, then they're already set for what's to come. Um, and especially with the job list or you know classes in the game, you have a bunch of classes to choose from: warrior, mage, cleric, thief, pop star, chef. You got cat and uh, scientist, tank, princess, flower, vampire, and elf. Uh, some are locked. Uh, behind areas <clears throat> like after clearing greenhorn you get cat and, and scientist and then after you complete a uh, next door uh, Tank princess flower and then uh, with charms you get vampire and elf, but you did say there are uh, charms that don't unlock Yeah, uh, basically other jobs that they probably might I feel like I Feel like for that you might be able to get different uh outfits or different classes with set charms so that might be important that they have those if they don't do anything they might do something in the new game i mean potentially i'm hoping that they do and that we get more jobs because vampire was rng to get it and going post game to get the elf class which i think it was post game or post 
uh, post defeat of the Darker Lord, Darkest Lord, making it like a lock behind a specific place, I thought was kind of eh. But hopefully they do add some more new stuff in that, you know, we get new features. But on that subject, potential updates Going to plus first day patch. It's true. <laughs> so if there's anything important with me, uh, Topia, I would say like the things that they added for the 3DS specifically like Spot Pass. I'm pretty sure that's like connecting to the internet and you get to download me's from a... Uh, I guess people put their news online, online, and then you're able to see them through Spot Pass. But I, th I thought Spot Pass was like shut down. If not, then it still works. And I just didn't have it active for my new playthrough for Utopia right now that I'm playing on 3DS. So I don't see any news offered for me, and I would just make them myself. Um, that they could fix that and just make it online, and you can get your friends' news. That could be a thing instead, of, like you said before um they pulled from the games that you had in your 3ds so if they see you have tomodachi save file and you have the game download or if you have it in as a cartridge you're able to pull the news out from there mm -hmm. that's that's pretty cool they could i wouldn't say they'll have something like that but i'm guessing they're gonna pull from your friends list because you can do that as well probably or just smash or something they might do how like smash does it they, like like you said, it's just online and you can just pull from there. Honestly, what I'm hoping for with like this being on the Switch is with potential updates are probably DLC, like jobs, or maybe even like DLC wigs. Because at the end of the day, no game is complete upon release <laughs> like that. You like know, all. we're going to have a day one patch. Might make it faster. Who knows? They might add uh, things that they have locked. I mean, there's... They you really don't know what happens in some day one patches. Sometimes they release it just to fix something minor. Something really small that might be a nitpick to them, you might not see. Yeah, that's kind of just how it ends up being most of the time in Nintendo games, but... They should give us more goddamn money if they want to make a first day patch. <laughs> more... They should make the games cheaper, huh? I yes, because everything is cheap, and when your you me goes what? to buy some items, they can fuck up and not get anything. They'll come back with a banana, and I'll straight banana, and I'll straight put my hand through my switch and slap them. <laughs> I mean, I feel it. I would, I honestly. Um, with potential updates and stuff, I'm hoping, like I said, for what? DLC, maybe some new jobs, maybe like, maybe even more story stuff, because... The game ends on... What if they make a mini-game, a new mini-game, instead of the rock, paper, scissors, which is always rigged until you get a flow, and then you lose that flow, you get all that money wasted, and or the roulette wheel. They could give us another optional mini-game to play. That, that yeah, wouldn't be possible. bad either. Or maybe more ways to have you, like, be on with other games. Because, sure, you can abuse the game's uh, island, like, the resort the uh, resort ticket system, which I did. Um, or you could just abuse Popstar. Really, it should have a rough take. But I feel like there was uh, a thing. Uh, Popstar, almost all of Popstar's abilities, like uh, Peace and Love, which ends quarrels. Um, I forgot what the other ones are called. Some of the other abilities do offer benefits to relationships between the Popstar and the me that they use it on. So that is something to take into consideration, which is why I'm hoping that they add more things. Because there's a lot of ways you can get, like, you know, new, like, better yeah. relationships and stuff. But I think, personally, that there's there's more room for more growth. Um, not to mention, eventually, new, more personalities. But I, I wouldn't bend on it, honestly. I, I'm fine. It's I, funny I because we talk about more that. personalities, like you're saying. And then, like, uh, I got confused playing Tomodachi Life. And when I look up, like, certain com uh, certain uh, countries, uh, the they rename some of the the they rename some yeah, of the yeah. personalities in that game. So I'm thinking I'm trying to get some lo uh, lonely uh, whatever <laughs> lonely leader or something like that. And it's called something completely different in another country. 
we're here, Lone and wolf. it's like just lonely, was... whatever. <laughs> Lone wolf and something else, and then something can be something different over there. And I'm like, ooh, that is a personality that I want, but I can't get it because it's the same personality that I'm looking for that I can get. It's just renamed. Uh, so before who knows we jump to the next time. I just like, want to say, they could add more. One thing I would like to see, and I know that they probably won't, but maybe they could port the voice system from Tomodachi Life into Utopia. Because I, I like the whole reading the dialogue, so you can give them goofy voices, or you can hear it in whatever voice you want. But I personally think having more features in the game to add more customization would be a nice plus. That would... <laughs> Matt... <laughs> That actually would actually be uh, befitting. That's if we get a remake of Tomodachi Life. Make it happen, Nintendo. But now that we're Here's done talking about topic. that, let's go over uh, the community. Uh, me and community what and, and, and what, it, <laughs> what it means for the future so, of the Mies. I want to jump to the topic first <laughs> what this means for the future of the Mies because that's a pretty lengthy topic in itself. And we can dabble in the me community as we go along. Um, what I think this means, because we got Mario Golf with the story mode with the Miis in it, to a Miitopia. I'm personally seeing this yeah. as a resurgence, as we talked about before, a resurgence of the Miis, or potentially maybe us getting a potential Tomodachi life port. Because while the game, I wouldn't say didn't get that many good reviews. For example, good, a good example that I can think of from the top of my head is Peanut Butter Gamer, who said it wasn't really one of those games that you could, you know, have control over. And that's true, but I think that's what made Tomodachi like different because it wasn't like one of those games that you just pick up and play. It was more like you helped with the events and you meant like you manipulate specific things to happen. And I think that's a really good point because we've seen, Nintendo has seen that Miitopia can sell well, but these can do well. Which brings me to the Mii community. Which brings me to the Mii community. And how, like, it's a pretty big community. <laughs> it really is because everyone's been waiting for Mii content for a long time. It's not like it's a myth and it's not known. It's not like people don't like the Mii's. I've been waiting for... Miitopia to get on Switch, and I've been waiting for me, uh, uh, Tomodachi, uh, Tomodachi Life to get on Switch as well. So now that we're seeing me content in Mario Golf, which just looks amazing outright, I doubt they're gonna add like wigs and stuff in there, but clothing, obviously, that's gonna be an option. Um, for that story mode to just be about uh, our Mii's, uh, you know, uh, getting different materials, probably not materials, but you're probably gonna be, uh, going against Mario characters in golf and then basically you level up and you, you gain a uh, stat boost and all that and you probably get your own racket maybe you can even customize your racket get different hats outfit that that's the thing yeah. that I'm looking forward I'm looking forward for that Mario golf game and just getting a Mario golf game in general since Mario uh, the last Mario game I played was Toadstool Tour that's not true because I played uh, World Tour I didn't like it that much but uh, Totsu Tour was childhood right there. So if they really make a game, if they really make it, I'll be happy. But seeing the Mii's in there, it's a done deal for me. That's instant. That, that's instant buy. I feel. I, I honestly do. You ha it's instant buy for you too because Mii's are yes, in it. So you're I already mean, in. You're entitled. For all those who will check the description, there is a video deck. of my reaction to. You know, that's gonna be in the definitely in the description below you guys gotta see that i don't have a reaction because i wasn't home to record it what the me uh me's future is looking pretty bright pretty goddamn bright if i do say so, yo all the things that they can do they can update old games and drop them in i mean hey shouldn't be that hard i was waiting for me's to be in mario tennis aces and we got so many mo mofo characters in there like they need yeah, to take spike. out a few like i don't want to play with spike <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure no one was like, yo, I want DLC and Mario Tennis Aces and I want to play with Spike. No, I want to play with my goddamn character. I, I really don't care. It's like when I play these games, I really don't even want to play with the, with the Mario characters. When it comes, like, old, like, in the past, yeah, because we only had said characters. Like Mario Party. Does Mario Party Super have Mario these? Because if it doesn't, then it's like, uh, I, I don't know. Don't think so. Yeah, does it? 
I'll, I don't I'll think check so. post. I'll check post. Well, we can just, check. I don't want to say it sure wrong. Just like post a comment. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it's like, this is really pretty much it. <laughs> Mies is coming back. That direct is crazy. I'm looking forward. We have like what, a few more months till uh, Tomoda um, yeah. yeah, Metopia comes out. Um, not Tomodachi, also, so we'll see what happens question. after that. Uh, yeah, no, Mies were not in Super Mario Party, which is a missed opportunity. No, they were. Not, it wasn't. According damn. to this fandom wiki, which could be wrong. But I don't remember seeing the option. Realistically, like, damn. But we don't want this video to be like <laughs> thirty minutes long. Sorry, because it's already reaching its point. So, um, this is it's been real I before I don't upload anything for months. <laughs> <laughs> for for the next several months. So, um, all you gotta do is go to the description. You're gonna see Void's channel, and you're gonna see his reaction to uh, me, Topia, live Topia. for um, the direct. Go Topia like it, share it. share it with other me fans. Let the me resurgence age happen right now, and also subscribe to my channel and see future content because we're gonna be doing some fun stuff. And just to keep you in the loop, there's gonna be a video for Balan. Don't know when it's gonna drop. But we're working hard on that. So and, we'll see you later. Any uh, before, anything you want to say? We we'll see you later. Say. This is a shameless plug. I do stream on Twitch. That is something. It's in the description of my video. So y'all wanna like you guys check me out. I play Final Fantasy 14. Uh, I'm willing to play like Minecraft, stuff like that. I got a lot of games. I'm willing to try stuff. I'm even willing to show you guys some animation stuff that I want to do. But that's kind of the main gist. And with that. I'll catch you, sexy beasts, later! Ha <laughs> ha! We out! Let's go!